If you've experienced an acoustic performance in the last several years, chances are you've heard an Ear Trumpet Labs microphone in action. These playfully eclectic designs have captured the attention and hearts of the music community and the state-of-the-art sound quality has earned the trust of performers and engineers all over the world. We're pleased to show you an up-close look at the making of our most popular model, Edwina. This build process is essentially the same as the first mics made by our founder in his garage 10 years ago. Today, we have a team of four builders in our Portland, Oregon workshop, and together, we have produced over 10,000 microphones. Watch as our builders craft these mics from parts to performance. We begin by cutting one inch copper tubing into sections to form the body of the microphone. These pieces are then placed in a vise and tapped, that is, threads are cut on the inside surface of the pipe. We're then able to screw the top nut in place. The bodies are placed into a jig and polished with a wire wheel. We then drill a hole that will be used to secure the bottom bearing and the XLR adapter within. XLR adapters are cut to size and deburred or smooth. These bearings are then stamped with ETL and the serial number. Here we see the bearings being placed into the body. Finally, the XLR pieces are assembled into the body. The brackets, which stand above the body and hold the capsule, are sanded, polished, and deburred. Then they're placed into a bending jig and shaped by hand with a bending bar and mallet. The bodies are attached to the brackets with a brass connector and nut. The piece is placed in a vise and the whole assembly is tightened using a wrench. Now that the body is nearly complete, we turn to the production of the microphone head. The casing surrounding the capsule or head ring is formed by cutting large copper tubing into half-inch sections. Holes are drilled into these pieces so they can later be secured to the brackets. One of these holes is resized using a step drill. As before, these rings are deburred and polished. A rubber gasket is placed into the larger hole to allow for the cable to run easily from the body into the head assembly. The microphone screens are pressed into shape using a forming press. For years, we used a hammer and a doorknob for this process, but we got the press to save our wrists. The capsule holder is made by cutting notches into thin brass strips. The cuts are deburred with a small file and the strip is bent around a cylinder for shape and paired. We add bends and now have the element that will hold the capsule in a precise position in the head basket. The face plates which hold the screws on the head of the mic are made from 3 inch conduit adapters. Six holes are drilled and deburred to allow for two plates to be bolted together encasing the microphone head. With the body parts built, we turn to the electronics. To begin, 
Blank perforated circuit boards are populated with components one at a time, stitch wired together by hand, and then soldered up in the back. These form the body board, the electronics that will be installed in the base of the microphone. Similarly, the headboards, the electronics installed in the microphone head, are built by populating these tiny perforated boards with their components, most notably JFETs. The JFETs in the headboard need to be biased to select the resistors that will be paired with them. A digital oscilloscope is used to determine the JFET operating point, while a spectrum analyzer ensures we minimize distortion. This process is important to get the best performance from the circuit. Once finished, these circuits are soldered, cleaned with alcohol, and coated with conformal coating to keep them sealed from moisture. All capsules are frequency tested to ensure they meet our standards for consistent response. 30 to 50% of capsules are rejected at this stage. To begin the final assembly, we prepare the bottom of the body and begin soldering the XLR components. Capacitors and ferrite beads are added for RFI protection. A cable is added to the circuit board that will connect it to the headboard. Insulating tubing is placed over exposed parts of the cable and electronics and heat shrunk in place. The cable and board are inserted into the mic body and fastened into place. The headboard is wired to the capsule, placed in the capsule holder, and secured to the head ring. The end of the cable is stripped and threaded through the rubber gasket in the head ring. The head is secured to the body brackets, and the wires are attached and soldered into place on the leads of the headboard. The assembled mic is placed face down onto the screen and aligned. A screen is placed on top of the head ring and the back face plate is fitted over that. Acorn nuts are attached to the bolts and tightened by hand. The bolts are tightened with a screwdriver and a hex driver. The construction of the microphone is complete. Now we move on to quality control. After burning in overnight, the fully assembled microphone is placed in a stand exactly six inches in front of a coaxial monitor speaker and connected to an audio interface. A test signal is played through the monitor and the mic's output is recorded. Our software generates a spectrum analysis of the output and compares it to the ideal model of the mic. Every frequency response is saved as a reference for any future repair needs. Blocks of foam are hand cut using a razor and fitted into a metal case. This allows for a snug fit for the safe transport of your mic. The case is labeled, shined, and packaged, ready for shipping. Or in the case of these two Edwina, ready for performance. Where did the time go? The kids at the prime, yeah, they were living Just a high class broad and a down home, be a chugging musician It wasn't a cakewalk There were many who desired a favor He carved out a place in her heart on a spearmint lifesaver She was a bright light and her rebellion encompassed his nature In those times it found joy so bold When you love you just can't be controlled Like a riff that is deep in your soul You never give up on it 